Thank you guys for giving me a chance to talk about this fascinating film. Again, congratulations on such a thought-provoking film that ignites different conversations. So um, let me start with you, Mr. Mr. Heinz. Uh, uh, this is your fifth collaboration with, with Julianne. Yeah. Uh, You've worked uh, with Natalie and with this awesome guy who is, to me, the emotional core yeah. of, of the film. How, how was to work with these three talents and create such different and complicated characters? It was such a privilege and such an excitement each day and such a joy to all be together in Savannah that we create, we felt like we created our own little world there, mm -hmm. although we drew in a lot of local folks to help us make this film possible. I have this long history with Julianne Moore, but I'd never made a movie with Natalie Portman before, and this was the first, mm -hmm. this was the film that she brought to me, and then I, I had never known about this guy until this role came to me. And the process of finding Charles and seeing that first audition mm -hmm. and getting to know Charles and spending time with Charles, because Charles came to Savannah before Natalie Portman did and, okay. and gave us such special time to hang, to hang out with each other. And we also lived near each other yeah. in, in Starland, Starland in, in, uh, <laughs> the outside of downtown. And all of it was just such a, we just had such a, we didn't, we didn't ever want to leave each other's sides, I yeah. think, the crew and the cast yes. while making the yes. film. And that created very special circumstances for this. Charles, you are the, the perfect actor for, for Joe. Uh, uh, it's, it's incredibly, incredible what you did with the, with the, with the character, uh, performing as a, as a loving husband, a loving father, but keeping and projecting that youthful innocence, uh, mm. the body language, everything about the character is so fascinating. Uh, did you have to uh, research the, the, for the character and how were those conversations with Todd to create such a, so to help you in the approach yeah. of the, this complicated character? Yeah, it, you know, Sammy wrote an incredible script, so complex and it, it was so diverse and It gave me so much to really explore with Joe and <clears throat> the conversations that Todd and I had uh, about the character Joe and just really getting to know each other on a personal level really just helped inform everything. Because I brought some of my own experience, my own feelings and parallels that I found with Joe to the character and found, you know, inspirations from so many films. Mm -hmm. I, 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 one of Todd's films, all of his films, but Safe and Safe. Uh, Velvet Goldmine. I, uh, I watched that, I, wa I remember maybe four times I watched oh. Velvet Goldmine and then I watched Safe twice mm -hmm. while we were before filming and during filming. And you know, different performances like uh, Tony Leung in In the Mood for Love by Wong Kar Wai where he's, he probably says like a few words throughout the whole film. Okay. But like there's just this, such this uh, quiet performance and, uh, and this physicality and just understanding Joe and this adult man, child yeah. kind of body where he's so young but also so old was really fun to just uh, work Excellent. with. Yeah. Thank you for that, Mr. Haynes. Uh, um, um, there's this particular scene which uh, as a father of a nine-year-old daughter um, put everything in, in, in perspective and, and in, in context. It's the scene where Uh, Elizabeth is watching the um, the casting of the kids for the role, mm -hmm. and, and it, it is a subtle, uh, small sequence, but it's so it is so powerful. It, it is so shocking, but at the same time, without the flashback, without without using flashbacks, yeah, yeah. it puts everything in context, like yeah. what happened 20 years ago, yeah. and we're dealing with this aftermath. I was working with that scene. No, I love that you you single that out, but it also brings to mind. What I found so interesting in, in the way the backstory of Joe and Gracie is told through all of these mm. stand-ins mm -hmm. for Joe. It begins with images of Charles himself in the tabloids that we created of Charles when he really was mm -hmm. that age. It's seen in his relationship with his son and who 
Charlie is mm. and how he carries on similar mm-hmm. kinds of ways of yeah. holding back and disciplining yeah. this family. You see it in the auditions of these kids. You see it in the kid who's finally cast at the end of the movie. Like, so you, you keep navigating the past through all of these stand-ins like for, for it as the film unfolds. Mm. Thank you for that. My time is up. Again, congratulations, and you deserve, you deserve every award in this award season. So <laughs> thank you guys for having me. Thanks so much. So much.